Welcome back to Juggling Gym, where my goal is to help you learn how to juggle and have fun doing it. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do the box and related tricks. The cool thing is that this tutorial combines the previous tutorials on slam throws and the shower. So go check out those tutorials if you haven't already. First, I'm gonna show you how to do 441, which is also known as the half box. Although 441 is the more common name. It's called the half box because in the regular box, the two throws are made simultaneously, but in the half box, they are not made simultaneously. 441 is a great way to get ready to learn the regular box. And it's also a good trick in and of itself. 441 is a side swap trick, so go check out my other tutorials on side swap if this is confusing. In essence, you're gonna throw up, up, over. Up, up, over. This trick has a low horizontal pass, just like the shower does. So make sure to practice that if you haven't done that already. Even if you already know the shower, make sure that you can do the horizontal pass in both directions, not just one. Start with two balls in one hand. Practice throwing one ball up and one across. Of course, make sure to do this on both sides. You're gonna start with two balls in your dominant hand and one ball in your non-dominant hand. Start with your dominant hand and throw the ball that's closest to your fingertips, so the white ball, straight up. Then throw the ball that's in your left hand, straight up. And then throw the second ball from your right hand across. Practice doing up, up, over from one side. And then practice doing up, up, over from the other side. Then try to switch back and forth, collecting all the balls in between each run. After that, you're pretty close to actually doing 4 for one In the regular trick, you're just gonna switch back and forth without collecting all the balls in between. When I looked back at my original footage, I realized that I was making the horizontal pass for my right hand way too high up. Try to get the horizontal pass to be horizontal and not diagonal. Also try to get the vertical throws as vertical as possible. The box is very similar to 441, but as I mentioned earlier, you're gonna make the vertical pass and the horizontal pass simultaneously. In 441, the balls are constantly changing hands, but in the box, two balls are gonna stay in the same hands and only one ball, the horizontal pass, is gonna go back and forth between hands, which is kind of tricky at first. So I'm gonna walk through it step by step. Throw the white ball up and then throw the red ball across. Then throw the red ball back to the original hand before you catch the white ball. Then do the same thing on the other side. Then practice doing this back and forth. Then pick up that third ball. It's the same starting position as 441, but the ball that's closest to my fingertips is gonna be thrown across instead of up. Just like with 441, try to keep the horizontal and vertical throws straight. This is something that I'm continuing to work on. Now it's time for the first variation of the box, the extended box, which is like a combination of the box and the shower. There are two different ways that you can do the box. You can constantly switch the extended box back and forth. Start from a normal box. You can see that the white ball is in the middle. Instead of throwing the red ball straight up, you're gonna throw it across like a shower throw. Now the red and white balls form the edges of the box. To go back to the original position, just do the same thing, starting from the other side. You can also do the extended box just on one side. You'll notice that you'll start moving in one direction, and then you can start moving in the other direction. If you're doing the extended box in one direction, you might accidentally end up doing a shower. Make sure to do a regular box throw before going back to the extended box. The last variation I'm gonna show you is a slam box. Instead of making a horizontal pass like the regular box, you're gonna make continuous slam throws from one hand. It's like half of Luke Shuffle and half of the inbox, but it's a lot easier than both of those patterns. I'm still working on both of those tricks and maybe I'll do a tutorial on them later, but for now, I'll show you how to do the slam box. You're gonna do a similar two ball exercise to what you did for the regular box. Make a horizontal pass and a vertical throw simultaneously. Instead of just throwing the horizontal pass back directly, you're gonna bring it up over the vertical pass and then slam it down through the pattern. Get used to doing this pretty quickly. Let me know in the comments what other box tutorials you want to see. These are all the ones I know for now, but I'd be happy to learn more and do a tutorial about them.